Yeah, they're not pro-life, they're anti-woman. Let's listen to George Carlin. Conservatives Carla. are really something, aren't they? They're all in favor of the unborn. They will do anything for the unborn. But once you're born... You're they don't give a fuck own. about you, yeah. Yeah, if conservatives were actually pro-life, okay, they would be pro-health care, pro-child care, pro, um, pro-maternity maternity leave, right? So kids can actually be taken care of by their parents they will be pro if you're pro life like in general like life like all life not just human life then you will be for protecting the environment against like accelerating climate change etc but no pro life just means being anti choice being restricting a woman's right to choose because you know a fetus is not really alive that's the thing a fetus is not alive until like who knows the five months or six months maybe seven months along and that doesn't matter because most over 90 percent of abortions happen within the first trimester of of pregnancy and all most of the other abortions are done like for medical reasons because nobody carries a baby no woman carries a baby inside of them for six months and then it's like mm, actually i changed my mind i don't want this baby and i want to to get it out of me no that's not that's not it and i ain't chief yeah so the whole uh the whole fear about late-term abortions being a problem is just like uh a red herring it's a fear-mongering tactic to think oh what about these babies that are being killed no babies are being killed. Don't worry about it. All life conservatives are obsessed with a fetus from conception to nine months. After that, they don't want to know about you. They don't, don't want to hear wanna... from you. No nothing. No neonatal care, no daycare, no head start, no school lunch, no food stamps, no welfare, no nothing. If you're no pre-born, stamp. you're fine. If you're preschool, you're fucked. Yeah, they don't even want to fund school lunches. That's that's really fucked. You, you've heard about like the the lunch debt, right? I mean, thank God it's like only in like the worst states in America, the red states. But it's like, I mean, I still feel for these kids, right? Like they have to pay for lunches at school, and if they can't pay, they go into debt to the school. And apparently, like, if the parents can't pay the lunch debt then CPS will take the child away from them and it's like that's literally just punishing people for being poor you're you're taking away your someone's kids because they're too poor to 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 that's that's really that's really messed up yeah it's they hate women they hate poor people they hate uh, they hate all the minorities and queer people. That's basically you can boil down most of conservative ideology to that. Yeah. Conservatives don't give a shit about you until you reach military age. Oh, that's the thing. Then they think you are just fine, just what they've been looking for. Conservatives oh, yeah. want live babies so they can raise them to be dead soldiers. Pro life, pro life. Oh yeah, they want uh, they want a bunch of uh, a, a people to be born so they can use them as soldiers. So they can use them as uh, as as tools, as like to fuel the economy, so they can be wage slaves. Maybe, I mean, I mean yeah. If you're if you're born to a mother who want who would have aborted you if she could have, but but like was not able to you're not gonna live a very happy life right your mom would your mom doesn't want you but she's forced to like raise you or she gave you up for adoption and you lived a life and like in an orphanage where you are not taken care of and probably like uh conservatives don't want to fund a, uh orphanages either they probably think of uh orphans as just moochers right i mean talk about pro-life yeah they don't care about you after you've been born at all so what kind of what kind of person is going to is going to turn out because of uh 
all these uh, unwanted babies, all these forced birth pregnancies. Um, I heard that uh, crime actually went down a few years after Roe v. Wade went into effect, or many years after, because uh, turns out unwanted babies grow up to be really fucked up adults, right? I mean, it just makes sense. Why does a person, why does a woman get an abortion? Because she's not ready to raise a child. She's not ready, either she's too young, so she's not ready, like, like, financially, or emotionally, or, or socially, they don't have, like, they don't have the social safety, like, nets to catch them, like, when they, when they need help, um, they, or maybe they just don't have time to raise a kid, maybe they're working a job, or they're in school getting an education, and either they have to cut off all, like, all the things that they're doing in life to raise this child, or they gotta, like, try to do both at once, and half-ass everything, and then, like, every, all the, and then their career and their baby, uh, fall short of, of the expectations. Um... Yeah, so unwanted babies grow up to be uh, adults with with issues, with social issues, mental health issues, because they grow up in in poverty a lot. They they grow up in like orphanages, which uh, are underfunded and are brutal environments. If and if they're lucky enough to stay with their their mother, then their mother might not be lucky because their mother might not just not want them. They might treat them like shit. They might uh, maybe the mother wants to take care of them, but she can't because she's busy working a job or whatever. So it's like Giorno Giovanna. His, uh, his mom always uh, left him home alone as a kid, and that, uh, that really fucked him up and made him a, a weird kid from JoJo Part 5. So, um, a lot of... Anyway, after uh, Roe v. Wade became law, like 18 or so years after that, the crime rate started going down. 16 to 18 years because all of those uh, unwanted babies who would have grown up to be antisocial uh, antisocial criminals were aborted and so they didn't exist so and apparently uh, Rudy Giuliani got credit for reducing crime in New York City but no it's actually because of Roe v. Wade yeah, Rudy Giuliani was a horrible mayor. He, like, he deported a bunch of homeless people to New Jersey or something, and he increased police funding and, um, was very racist. Like, he protected, uh, police killings of black people in Harlem, etc. So, yeah, that's just... That's just a... another... Another reason why abortion, uh, the right to an abortion is good. It's not just a moral thing. It's a practical thing, right? Because if a woman, like, gets pregnant and she doesn't want the child, then, then, yeah, like, being pregnant is a, such a chore, such a hassle, like, and then giving birth is, like, a whole other different thing. It's like... It's very painful and laborious, and it's uh, it can take out many many hours or like even days to like push the baby out of you, and it's a it can be a life threatening thing. Some women die from childbirth, not much anymore because uh, 
of modern medicine, but maybe like poor woman won't be able to benefit from that, so they might like they might have some injuries at least like I know uh, some women have some health issues after giving birth so um, yes it's a practical issue women are too busy doing girl boss shit doing hot girl shit uh, getting themselves educated doing jobs contributing to the economy because what is an unwanted baby going to contribute to the economy? They're going to be a drain on the economy. Not only because they're taking their mother away from work, which would, like, which would, uh, benefit the, the economy and, like, uh, generate more profit and, like, be more productive. It's gonna be, like, you're, you're going, the state is going to have to give taxpayer money to this woman, I mean, there's gonna be some kind of child support, even in a red state, right? There's federal benefits, like, and the mother is gonna have to, like, put her whole life on hold to raise this child, and, uh, for what? What is this child gonna grow up to be? I mean, it's sad, look, it's sad to think that a child is unwanted, but hey, that's life. Life is sad sometimes, okay? Sometimes a baby, uh, shouldn't be born i mean that's the that's the difficult truth like not all life is sacred living things die all the time living things die all the time and uh are replaced by other living things death is a part of life it's a part of the circle of life uh living things that shouldn't be alive die to make room for other living things with more of a purpose to their life and that's yeah that's a difficult uh truth to grapple with these pro-life people think they're saving babies but all they're doing is just causing more problems and like forcing women to have babies that they don't want and they can't take care of anyway let's listen to george these people aren't pro-life they're killing doctors what kind of pro-life is that oh yeah they do anything they can to say oh yeah that's fucked yeah, they're, they're like, they're going after abor abortion doctors, like, doctors who perform abortions in, because they think that they're killing babies, and that's the fucked up thing about this rhetoric about killing babies, right? Because if it actually is true that these doctors are just ripping fully formed, uh, children out of their mother's womb and just killing and just like snuffing out their life and then selling their body parts then yeah that will be pretty fucked up and yeah it might it is understand it's understandable why someone would like be be violent to stop that and yeah historically like uh abortion clinics have been bombed uh doctors have been uh killed i remember uh i remember uh who, who's the guy? Uh, the Fox News guy. Uh, Bill O'Reilly. Oh, remember that guy? Uh, I, I forgot about that guy because, like, uh, he was Me Too'd so long ago. But it's like, yeah. Bill O'Reilly kept calling this doctor who performed late-term abortions a baby killer. And, yeah, someone went and killed the baby killer because, of course, you kill a baby killer. Who kills babies? But... But yeah, they're not pro-life. They're actually anti-life because they're the ones who, with all the guns, they stockpile guns and fantasize about using them to kill leftists and black people and etc. Save a fetus, but if it grows up to be a doctor, they just might have to kill it. They're not they just might. You know what they are? They're anti-woman. Simple as it gets. Anti-woman. Yes. Like True. They don't like women. They just don't like women. Yeah, um, seems like a lot of conservatives, uh, not, not all, but, like, a lot of them, they seem like they've been hurt by women in the past. And, I, look, I understand it. I've been hurt by women, too, okay? Believe me, women can be brutal sometimes. But, I mean, I've, I've felt the urge, I've felt angry at women, but, like, I don't let that 
influence my political decisions. I don't let that, like, I, I, I try to be the bigger man and be like, hey, not all women are bad. It's just, like, these few women who have hurt me. Um, but these guys, no, they, they get hurt by a woman and they think they want to take it out on all the women. Just, like, they want to take away the rights of all women just on the off chance that it'll hurt the woman that uh, hurt them. Yeah. And they think of women as lesser than men. They think of women as, like, something to be owned and controlled. They think of them as, like, women's bodies as baby-making machines and the woman it themselves as, like, uh, just, uh... They they don't want they don't want the woman themselves to have a personality. They just want the uh, the the woman's body to make babies. They believe a woman's primary role is to function as a broodmare for the state. Yep, that's what I just said. Do you see any of these white anti-abortion women volunteering to have any black fetuses transplanted into their uteruses? Do you? Oh, you yeah, don't think of that. a whole lot of crack babies, do you? No, that might be something Christ would do. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Like, yeah, crack babies was a thing in like the '80s, right? When like Reagan was uh, shitting on black people, they were like, "Oh, black people, black do crack and crack," and then the uh, the pregnant ladies doing crack, which I mean, are w was that happening really? Were black pregnant women doing crack while pregnant? Uh, I mean, maybe it was happening, but like. Yeah, it's just like fear mongering, like anti black like stuff. But it's like even if that were true, like like wouldn't you want to like help them out? Like if you're so pro life, why don't you uh why don't you why don't you help out uh, these kids live their lives? And it's like, um Sometimes they'll make the argument that like uh uh, Democrats want to let in immigrants into their country, but they won't let immigrants into their own homes, and they think that's like a huge own, like, like a country is comparable to like a private residence. But like, you can just turn that logic right around at them, which is like, if you're going to force women to give birth, how many of those forced birth children are you willing to adopt, right? Because these children are unwanted by their mothers, but you want them to exist, right? So how many of them are you going to take care of, huh? How many are you going to adopt? And they're like, and then they go like, oh, well, no, I have, I'm in no position to be raising a kid right now. I, I got stuff going on. I'm, I'm busy working a job. I already have a kid. Uh, I already have kids. I can't take care of another kid. Well, welcome to the club. That's the whole point of being pro-choice. It's like... You don't, you don't want a kid because you can't take care of a kid. Well, what about the woman who, like, is pregnant with a kid? What about her? Hmm? You don't really care about her, do you? They think they're, like, again, it's, like, it comes down to, like, saving the kid's life. They think they're saving the life of a, of a baby by, like, banning a, by, like, stopping them from getting an abortion but uh, yeah it all comes down to um, like when the the baby is considered alive let's just finish this clip and you won't see you won't see a lot of these pro-life people dousing themselves in kerosene and lighting themselves on fire you know mm. morally committed religious people is yeah so, um, yeah, it all comes down to, um, actually, I, was I just, uh, I think I was just, uh, in a Reddit argument over this. 